Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm smiling because I think I almost just broke my leg in this chair. Hey, um, thanks for joining me this morning for this Tuesday. What is today? April the 10th edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you for being here. Hey, and uh, just a quick reminder, since today is Tuesday, radio show's coming up at the top of the next hour. So, well, actually, it's about an hour from now. It starts a few minutes after 8. But, uh, hey, join me for that. You can listen live. If you're in the Huntsville area, you can listen over the air on uh, WTKI. That's, uh, oh, man, 1450 a.m.? <laughs> Uh, 92.9 FM, I believe that's right. Or you can listen online, WTKI Radio, or even better, just join me at TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com. That'll take you to the right Facebook page. You can watch the show, comment, join in the conversation that goes on there. Speaking of conversation that goes on, when you join me here this morning, it would be awesome. If you drop a comment down there, just say hi, let me know that you're here, give a little wave, like, share, you know. All that socially media y stuff that we do every day. All right. So today, yesterday I started talking about, uh, I was, you know, talking about how we are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. And I gave brief reference yesterday to the Spider Man clause. And I kind of gave today's show that title, the Spider Man clause, because um, I believe that that's what we have to do. Now the Spider-Man clause, if you're not familiar with it, you know, with great, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. This whole thing about us being uniquely gifted, talented, and placed, it's not just for us. I mean, think about it this way. If you have a thousand piece puzzle and one piece is missing, then the whole puzzle is incomplete. Even though you have 999 pieces in the puzzle, that one piece being missing leaves the whole puzzle incomplete. Can you enjoy the finished product without it? Yeah, but there's still something missing. There's the contribution of that single little piece that's not there. And when you choose to not pursue your gifts and talents, to do the work that matters, to do the work you were created, designed, placed here to do, then you're like that one little puzzle piece (laughs) that's leaving the whole puzzle incomplete. Now, here's the real stick in the eye with this. We might not know what what that is. We might not know. We might not even realize. I, you know, I, I was having this, I had, man, I had so many great conversations yesterday, but I had, I was having one. We're talking about, um, you know, what happened with my son. And, you know, one of the things that I, I said was, and, and I've said this several times, not just yesterday. There has to be some reason. Right? There has to be some reason behind the things that happen. And it might even be that the reason has nothing to do, or is not obvious. I won't say it has nothing to do with him, but it's not obvious. Maybe it's a connection that we made with somebody else in the hospital. Maybe it's some, maybe it's a connection with somebody that made with us. We don't know what that um, let me say that again. We don't always know what that role is that we play. When our little piece fits into the puzzle, we don't always know what that role is ahead of time. Afterwards, most of the time we can figure it out. But the best thing to do, the right thing to do, is to pursue your gifts and talents and do the work that you were put here to do. If you do that, then you won't miss out on the blessings that are yours just for the asking. I I mean, I've said, you know, I I say this all the time. If you work in your gifts, leverage your talents, 
the work will be easy. So easy, in fact, that most of us are dismissive of its value. If painting a picture, painting a nice picture is easy for you, then you might look at that and think, oh, that's easy. I mean, I, you know, that's not a big deal. But for somebody like me who is artistically challenged, that's a huge deal. Right. And so, and, and that, I mean, this is one of the, the paradoxes of these gifts and talents, right? The, they make the things that we do easy. So it's, it's simple for us to be dismissive of it. But the, the great truth behind it is it's easy because that's what we're supposed to do. And the other thing that happens is when we're doing those things, that's where we find our joy. I mean, that's the reward for doing those things. And so, very often we are compromised. We, we compromise our choices early in life and we make decisions about what we're going to do based on something else, like how much it pays instead of making decisions based on what we are uniquely gifted and talented to do. And then we miss out on all the joy and somebody else misses out on a complete puzzle. Don't be the missing puzzle piece. That's how, that's really what I should have named today's show. <laughs> Don't be the missing puzzle piece. Play your role. Play your part. Because somebody else is playing a part in your puzzle. You don't want them to not do their job, do you? All right. I know that was the deep end of the pool. <laughs> um, I, yeah, that's so deep. I, sorry. That, but that's, that's what comes with this. If we are doing what we are supposed to do, what we are gifted and talented to do, it's going to have a deep, profound impact on our lives and the lives of other people. Just got to put that out there. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, Aisha, Joe, you guys are awesome. Love it that you're here. Be sure to share this. If you know somebody who could benefit from our conversations every day, be sure and share. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. Clearly, the coffee tank is getting low. Ah, be sure and share this video with them so they can benefit from it also. Maybe that's your role. Maybe that's the piece of the puzzle you're supposed to be today. Just share this with somebody else. Remember, radio show is coming up at 8 o'clock. That's uh, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. We will be back here again tomorrow. A snorkel. Yeah, I think I do need a snorkel. We'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a terrific Tuesday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.